Hi, this is Tally reporting to you from the 2010 PCBC conference in San Francisco. And I'm standing here with Mike from GE. And uh, how are you, Mike? I'm doing well today, Tally. How are you? Great. So uh, what's your position at the company? I have the job of coming up with new ideas for GE. I'm our innovation marketing manager. Wonderful. Um, and uh, I know you're in charge of a lot of the smart grid stuff. So um, let's talk about that today. I know GE has, uh, has been you know, doing a really big push in smart grids. So uh, what's the interest? Well, GE's interest in smart grid goes back 125 years to our founder, Thomas Edison, who pretty well invented America's grid. GE is the only corporation which goes all the way from production of electricity at the very big steam generators down to your local utility, all the way to consumption in the home. So we've just got a fabulous interest in the grid and improving the grid and improving the efficiency that goes with it. Here at Appliances, GE Appliances, what we're trying to do is we're trying to give the consumer a connection to that smart grid with our suite of demand response or smart grid enabled products. These products allow the consumer to connect to that smart meter on the outside of the house and also allow the consumer to better control the amount of energy and the electricity expense that they see on their monthly bill. What the appliances will do is they will receive signals from that smart meter on the house that the utilities are starting to put in. They'll watch for periods of high cost and low cost. If you're in some sort of an area that's going to time of use or variable rate pricing that a lot of the country will start seeing in the next few years. And what they'll do is they'll shift the load from periods of high cost to lower cost to reduce the peak loads on the grid and to save the consumer some money. The products, uh, we've actually got a full suite of products. We've got washers and dryers and refrigerators and dishwashers, all of which can shift that load. Some of the products are very, very simple. If you think about a, a refrigerator, for example, the, the peak energy usage in a refrigerator is during defrost. In a defrost period, which is only about a half hour, but most refrigerators do it about every day or day and a half, it uses 10 times as much power as it does normally. So you say, I don't care when my refrigerator defrosts. Why would I ever defrost my refrigerator when electricity is very expensive? Why not do it when it's cheap? And that's what our smart refrigerator will do for you. It'll watch for when the electricity is cheap, and then it will go ahead and defrost the, defrost the back coils to make sure that it works efficiently for you. Things like our dishwashers, most people don't really care when their dishes are washed so long as they're clean by tomorrow morning. The dishwasher will wait for the price of electricity to drop down low, and then it'll clean your dishes and help you save some money as well. Great, so how do they actually do this? How do they communicate with the grid? All the products have a small communication module on them which speaks Zigbee SEP 1.0, which is the communication protocol favored by most of the California utilities. And so it will talk directly to the smart meter on the outside of the house, which also has a Zigbee radio embedded in it as well. Wonderful, so I don't need to know how to program anything. This will be a small binding, what we call a binding operation, which consists of pushing a button on the outside of the module to tell the meter that it's there, and that's all you really have to do. It'll be very simple for any consumer to do. Okay, and uh, you also mentioned that you have a hybrid water heater that's also um, smart grid integrated? We do. We have our new GeoSpring heat pump water heater. It does two things for you. First off, it's incredibly energy efficient. It reduces the amount of energy required to, pro to provide hot water by about 60% typical home, that'll save you about $300 a year, which is a massive savings for the consumer. It's also connected to the smart grid as well. So during those periods of peak demand, the unit will only run in its most energy efficient mode, ensuring that you have some hot water, but keeping down that peak load that your house might be putting onto the grid. Now, um, I know I've heard this term hybrid a lot. So what does your hybrid water heater do? Well, our hybrid operates in several different modes. It'll operate in the heat pump only mode. It'll operate in a backup with the, with the cow rod backup heaters. It'll also operate in what we call the hybrid mode where it uses both the backup cow rod heaters and the heat pump. If you're in a high demand situation, let's say you've got some guests over at the house and they're, they're drawing a lot of hot water for showers. So make sure that you always have enough water, but it does it in a very energy efficient manner for you. So in layman's terms, can you explain to me how that hybrid water heater works? Boy, I hope so. <laughs> It's actually fairly simple. It's kind of like a refrigerator in reverse. We have a heat pump which sits on top of a tank. The heat pump extracts heat from the ambient air, concentrates it in the compressor, and transfers it to the tank down below where it's stored until you need it. Um, if you think about a refrigerator where the warm air is being blown out the bottom, the cat might like to lie there or something during the winter time, instead that warm heat is going into the water and a little bit of cool air is coming into the room as the heat is removed from the ambient air. Because it's moving heat rather than creating heat, which is what you have with a gas water heater or a standard electric water heater, it's very, very efficient. It runs at a 235% efficiency level as opposed to a 60% efficiency level for most gas water heaters. So how does it compare an efficiency to, let's say, a tankless? 
A tankless water heater, and GE does sell a tankless water heater, runs about 80% efficient. This product is, like say, 235% efficient. So uh, the last product you mentioned uh, GE having within this line is the GE Home Management System. So can you talk a little bit about that? Sure. Our new GE Home Energy Management System is really nice in that it gives a consumer some insight into what's happening with their electric bill. If you think about your bill, it comes in once a month, right? And you look at it and you, you always say bad things about it because it's always more than you want to pay, but you have no idea where the money went. Our new home energy management system will provide you insight into where your dollar is being spent on a real-time basis. So you'll know right now I'm spending 20 cents a kilowatt hour and I'm using this much energy. It'll also help you keep track of other resources such as how much water you're using. And if you've got PV panels on the roof, it'll also show you how much energy you're producing yourself and what the value of that is to you. You can look at it right now, you can look at yesterday's data, you can look at data for the last three years so that you can understand are you doing a better job of being energy efficient or a worse job of energy efficient. Help save some money and also to help shift some energy off that peak period as well. Okay, so Mike, thank you so much for talking to me. It's been a pleasure. Thank you. Thank you. This has been Tali from Buildrew.com reporting to you from the 2010 PCBC Conference in San Francisco. Thank you for watching.